Hey there guys, the following quest is a very cool look at a quest that's super small, but sort of amazing in the Southern Barrens. Now, I did not have room to put this in the Southern Barrens overview, but I figured it's way too cool not to show you. So anyway, for those of you who are fans of the lore, basically what's happening is Camp Toraho or Torajo, or however you want to say it, has been sacked and raised by the Alliance, and then firebombed by the Dwarves. Now the Torin, you can imagine, are not happy. And there's a small camp in the north attempting to rebuild and regroup and find the survivors, but some of them have left and headed south to Baelmodan to seek revenge for what has happened. When you're sent down to the south to meet them and help them out, you learn that they've already launched an attack, and of course it looks like they were repelled, because this guy is wounded, and he's like, oh, we could use your help, shaman. You know, we're not here to just skirmish with them. We're here to actually strike a killing blow. And he's like, my wounds are great, but I will not rest until the dwarves of Belmodan pay for their crimes. So he sends you inside to meet a goblin saboteur named Weasel Slipshadow, and after you kill a bunch of dwarves, you've got to go in there and sort of find a way to blow up their stronghold. So what you'll notice immediately is that Belmodan really, as an area, has not changed at all from Vanilla. But what's really cool about the area is that since both Alliance and Horde have quests here, I assume there's going to be a lot of PvP. In fact, the whole Southern Baron Zone is like one giant forced world PvP area. Uh, used to be South Shore and Terran Mill. This is definitely it now. Because there's a lot of quests that say, go out into the field, place your flag, and fight off the Alliance. But at the same time, the Alliance have a quest that say, go to the exact same place, drop your flag, and fight off the Horde. Or there's one where there's a little middle area between two huge bases, and they say, go out there and kill guys. So I'm almost sure that they want you to fight here. Like, this is an overworld PvP hotspot. At least that's what they're trying to do. For example, in Belmo Dan, while the Horde are inside the building here killing guys, down in the dig site, that's where the Alliance are fighting off Torn Raiders. So anyway, you go in here and you find what has to be one of the funniest NPCs I've seen in a long time. Weasel Slip Shadow, as you can see him, has a piece of cheese on his head. Why? Because he's hiding your cheese. I love his master of disguise. Genius. He's like, you do good work, shaman. So anyway, basically he wants me to go and find the fortress schematics. Why? Because we're going to use them to blow this place apart. So it's a very simple standard quest. You just have to search around. If I know keeps like Belmodan, okay, this sort of dwarven style, there's What's really the on only the one place this thing could be. And so... Be careful out there. Uh, it really wasn't hard to discover. Everyone knows there's this little area down here with the fireplace and everything. And I figured it would have to be there, right? Yeah. So, of course it is. It's right down there. Kill this random named guy who has no point at all for the story. I guess to, to make the combat harder? I don't know. And you go and you get the little uh, Belmodan Fortress schematics. Run them back up to this guy. It feels very awkward talking after the fact because I want to talk like while it's going on. Uh, definitely not how I'm used to doing videos, that's for sure. Anyway, you turn yeah, it back into Weasel Slip Shadow with the cheese on his head. What we're going to do is we're going to find any artillery shells that are around and set those things <laughs> off and blow up the base from the inside and run for it. See That's our plan. Friend. So I've got to find this artillery shell. Now at the time, I'll admit, I had no clue where to look. It said in the quest that this place was a giant cannon. So I figured giant cannon probably up at the top, right? Yeah? So I went up to the top. Mind you, looking at it now after the fact, I just walked by where I'm supposed to do it. Not those little tiny cartridges, but on the left side of the screen. Rewind it if you want. You can see there's a, a giant missile bomb, like A-bomb looking thing. Apparently that was it. Who knew? So you can see me wander around like an idiot for a little bit looking at the planes. Now, I found this really funny. I was with a friend the other day in one of these places in live, 
and he had never in three characters gone up to the top area of a dwarven base thing and looked at all the different ships and weapons and things they have. I guess sometimes when you play a horde, you don't really experience all the alliance stuff because you're afraid you're going to get killed. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I, I was looking around trying to find it. And again, like I said, I walked right past it. Uh, you'll see it right here in a sec. There it is. See it? So you gotta get really close to this thing, like inside of it, and sabotage it. And so they use it like they're gonna go fire, and of course, the alarms sound, and the red lights are going off, right? And you've gotta run out of here. Now, poor Weasel, no one cares about him. He's sort of on his own. But, uh, you run out, and a cool cutscene activates. Now, you notice there's an airship thing just flying in the air. See it up there in the top? And I was like, what the hell is that? Why is that there? That makes no sense. And this ship comes out of the sky crashing. And it looks really cool, right? Turns out, there's a reason for that airship. And it's actually very, very cool. So when you play as the Alliance, as you can see, the Torn are down there fighting. The very last quest in this area says, hey, we're going to report what's going on back to the main Alliance force. Jump in my plane, I'm going to take you there. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but... I'll give you a hint, you already know. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, because this was really cool. Isn't that awesome? They basically connect the two storylines uh, with this really cool scene, and I thought that was brilliant. Anyway, your little flying partner guy here is still sort of alive, and he must have ale. So you have to run into the burning building to get him beer. And, of course, right here you have some dwarves who are like, you've got to help people. You know, there are guys inside, help them. And this guy right here sends you to go find whoever it was who did this to their base. Uh, kind of ironic that it was my other character, but whatever. Maybe someone else is responsible. Wink, wink. Be good. And when you enter this area, I assume as a lobby, you can see it does 209 a tick. Look, there are guys trapped under debris. Y you have to sort of defend yourself and heal and stuff, or do fire suppression that's in here. But anyway, you find out who's responsible, and it is, of course, Weasel Slip Shadow. He did not make it out alive, so the Horde players weep and moan. Alliance players, you now get to see who the real culprit is, wink wink. And uh, I thought this was really cool. Basically, if you did not play both sides, you would not get the whole experience here. But by doing both and seeing it, you sort of get to see everything. I thought that was really cool. Last but not least, totally unrelated, but... Very funny nonetheless. This guy, Calder Gray, says, Do you know what I like, Mojo Maker? No, Calder, what do you like? Murder. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. It just made me laugh. Anyway, that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you next time.